Let's do a calculation involving oxidation numbers determined from Lewis dot structures. Here's two molecules. An oxidation reaction occurs, and the question is, what happens to the oxidation number of carbon number one that I've listed here in green? Well, in order to do that, we need a Lewis electron dot structure for each molecule. I can draw those here, and I've simplified them a little because we're interested only in this carbon, so I haven't drawn the full Lewis electron dot structure, but the relevant parts around that carbon. Now, to do an oxidation number, I have to assign the electrons based on relative electronegativities. I'm going to assign electrons to this carbon based on electronegativities on the things it's bonded to. This carbon is more electronegative than the hydrogen, so it will get all these electrons. It's less electronegative than this oxygen, so it won't get any of those. It's equally electronegative with this carbon. So to count them up, the carbon gets two electrons from that bond. It gets two electrons from this bond, being more electronegative than the hydrogen. It gets one electron from this bond because it's equally electronegative with this carbon. And it gets none from this bond because oxygen is the more electronegative element. So two, four, five electrons around carbon in that molecule. Carbon as an atom has four electrons around it. This carbon has one more than that, so it has an oxidation number of minus one. How about this molecule? Again, we'll do the same thing. It'll get one electron here because it's equally electronegative with the carbon next to it. And it'll get two electrons from that hydrogen because that bond, both electrons will be assigned to the more electronegative carbon. And none in this double bond because those electrons will be assigned to the oxygen. So one, two, three is the number of electrons here. Normally has four, so it has one fewer for a plus one. So what we have is the oxidation number going from minus one to plus one increasing by two steps. So the oxidation number changes two steps in this oxidation reaction.